So yeah, so I saw you coming in and I got distracted by nervous Nelly over here. Hi, what is your story? Oh, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Can I come in and sit down with you? Yeah, I'm going to come in real quick, okay? Uh, hello, I'm new here. Please go slow. I need time to adjust to my new environment. All right, sweetie. Hi, can I come in and sit down with you? Hi. Okay, you growling at me? I think, hi. So we have a little growl. It's not too bad. It's just more of a, I'm unsure. So we'll take it slow. We'll take it slow. Hi, can I sit with you? Can I sit this right here? So we're gonna just take it really slow. I'm not, I'm not too concerned though. Like I don't get that sense, that feeling that there's a threat. I just, she's just saying, Hey, I'm uncomfortable. And, th and that's okay. Like that's a, that is a good thing to let me know. It's always hard with dogs that are really dark like she is because when they hide in the kennel, they're less likely to get adopted. Like when they hide in the back corner, just statistically. And so it just breaks my heart when I see something like this because like she is most likely an amazing dog and I can't wait to learn more about her story, but I want to see if we can break her out of her shell. Well, she probably just came in. We're going to start with trying to treat. That's really good. Okay, I gotta stay calm. That makes me so happy though. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. I think we're comfortable now with sitting. Okay, okay, it's okay. You're a good dog. I'm still gonna get plenty of space here. Um, because, you know, I want her to come to me. We're already close enough in this I don't know. It's <laughs> you know, four by six kennel. But this is good. After getting a treat, like her head's up, has a curiosity. And you, you can do a lot with curiosity. Because if they're if a dog's curious enough, it will start to overcome that fear. Uh, that's what we want to do is we want to get her out of that fear state, if possible. Just in little increments. I put that one a little bit farther away from her to see if I can get her to just stretch her neck a little bit. Okay, okay. Getting those chops going. Okay. I'm going to uh, kind of do a big piece here and see if she'll take it from me. All right, we're not there yet. Go a little closer. I don't take it personally. <laughs> I know it takes time when you're scared. And when you're, when you potentially might not have any reason to trust a human, I don't know her story, but she's likely been through it. If even just not in the last 24 hours since she's been here. What's her kennel card say? How long has she been here? She's been here um, for almost 10 days now. Oh, really? I thought today was her first day. That's hard because... That's bad. That's bad. Because when you're here 10 days and you're still in this state, um, you just, it's going to be really hard to get adopted. And this is, this is bad. So the stakes are high. Again, no goal in this, but if we can figure out a way to try to open her up a little bit, I think that'll really help because uh, she needs it now. She needs that. You know? Hey. Hey, Chico. Right. I take a peek. I will tell you this. So, so black dog hiding in the corner, hard to see, but she's got these little light toe beans, uh, or not toe beans, but like, uh, like her, some of her little toes are white. If I can get her to come out of her shell a little bit, I'll show you. I'm going to try a whole thing and see if she'll come to me. I'm going to let her work. I'll look away. Kelly, is she moving towards the tree at all? Or... Yeah. Oh, but she's thinking about it. I'm going to go a little closer. She's not growling at me or anything. Okay. All right. I'm not looking. I'm going to keep talking. Everything's normal here. la di da 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 Blah, blah, blah. I love dogs. I love you. What? Hmm. 
it may seem small, but she took a treat from me. Ah, uh, Kel, quick, I need another treat stick. <laughs> I just gave my, my old treat stick away. I mean, The reason I make, it's funny because I developed these treat sticks not for uh, shelter dogs. I mean, they're great for shelter dogs, but I developed them for my dogs. Like when I'm on a walk, I could just put it in my back pocket and I could break off the appropriate amounts because typically treats are a certain size. Well, sometimes I need high value reward. Sometimes I want just little bits. So that's why I make them this way is so that I can do that. But it's worked out perfect in the shelter. Okay, we're going to go a little smaller here. That's good. That's good. I'm going to just get a little closer. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I'm going to try something to move from blanket a little bit. You're a little more comfortable with the blanket close? Okay. Okay. I thought you didn't want the blanket, but is that your blanket? Here, let's, let, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a little farther away so she's got to work towards it. And let me just hang out for a minute. Nothing. Okay. Another thing I can try is, uh, I call it the trail of treats. <laughs> It's like one treat leads to the next treat. So I just start there. And then I go a little bit closer to see like where, how how far she'll go. I'm only spacing them like half an inch apart. And then I want to see if she'll be like Pac-Man. Do kids know Pac-Man? Or did I just age myself there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it worked, it worked. Pac-Man worked. All right, if you don't know Pac-Man, look it up. Because uh, it can help you with uh, shelter dogs. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. All right, we're going to find out her story. Because I think our story could help us piece this together a little bit. Hey, Phil. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I'm trying to move the blanket a little bit. Because I want her to have like a clear path. I'll try to keep this momentum going. See if I can just get her to completely like get out of her kidney pe being position here. Up a little closer. Look away. She giving up? She's giving up. And go, good girl. I'm going to try something. If you watch Sitting With Dogs before, you've seen me do this. And and uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I try to just, when I hand off a treat here, do a little touch on the paw like that. And she's not reacting poorly to it. Because, you know, she could be affection driven. And uh, and so getting to that point where I could show her some affection. Oh, okay. All right. She jumped a little bit. That may not be it. Hi. Nice cool girl. Okay, hi. No, okay. it's okay. But check me out. Hi, your eyes are so sad. Hi, you're so sad. Hi. Hi. Good girl. That's a good girl. You're a good girl. Hi. Have you had a little rough? Your little wet your little white toe paws are pretty cute. I'd like to show everyone those. I think they can kind of see them. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Huh? Baby girl, you want a treat? You want a treat? Good girl. Yeah. That's a good girl. I have one more thing I want to try to help bring her out of this fear state. But first, I want to I want to get her story. Um, and then I want to also give her positive affirmations and just tell her that she's a good dog. Alexis, what's her story? Her name is Venom. Venom? Yeah. This is her second time here. First time that she was here, owners came for her after like a week. Um, I guess they were on vacation. Okay. So they brought her back home. And, and that, because you have a 10 day hold if it's owner known. And so if they were on vacation for a week, that'd be seven days. If they came back to get her, they'd still be within that 10 day hold. Okay. Now that this is the second time, Good Samaritan found her and brought her in. Okay. They tried reaching the owner for about a week. Didn't get anything. Okay. Until... Because they have a microchip. She has a microchip? Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think a collar. Oh. Um, Can I see that? Well, no wonder she's sad. She's been, this is the second time she's been in here. 
And the first time her owners were on vacation, so they left her for a week. Okay, here's, okay, let's let her check it out too. You wanna see that? Is that yours? Yeah. Is that yours? Is that, is that yours? Do you wanna go on a walk? You wanna go on a walk? I look like she knows what a walk is. You wanna go on a walk? I'd take her out there and walk her around her, but I don't think she's in that state of mind just yet. Um, she's not in the walking program, is she? Not yet. Probably now it, that she's been here yeah. for a couple days. I mean, it's a nice look, a nice collar, like... Well, anyway, so now that this is the second time she's here, yeah. uh, tried reaching the owners for about a week, there was nothing. Okay. Um, and then finally, when they got a hold, the owner basically said, oh, she got out of the yard and um, she hasn't been uh, nice with their smaller dog. Okay. And we don't want her anymore. They keep pushing off coming into the shelter to pay the fees needed. So they're like, we'll come in this week. No, we'll come in next week. You know. That's frustrating. I mean, sometimes I know it's hard and people feel like they don't have the funds, especially right now. It's so hard out there. Cost of everything just keeps going up. Even sometimes just to get the groceries or put the gas in your car is so hard. And so if all of a sudden there are shelter fees on top of that, that can be hard. But the shelter will work with you on things like this. The shelter works with people all the time. If it's even if it's multiple occurrences like this, they will help with payment plans, reduced fees. You know, I'm I'm not on that side of the team. I'm just an ambassador, so I don't know how that works. But I know they work with people. But kind of feels like, correct me if I'm wrong. Kind of feels like they don't want her. Like they don't even they see the fee of whatever it is. You know, even if it's thirty five dollars, I don't know. You know, even if it's one hundred and fifty dollars, whatever, they've decided in their mind she's not worth that fee. Well, to me, it's also odd to be honest that it's only until after she had got out and everything yeah. and didn't answer for a yeah. week, and then you know they kind of have stuff to say about her. So um, at this point, they will have to do a mandatory meet and greet, especially if it's a smaller dog because yeah. of what the owner said. Right. Um. So definitely that that's good they still need to do that but yeah it's a little odd also the name venom come on venom like she is anything but that she it should be like honeysuckle or <laughs> you know or something sweet something sweet like honey i think that's her name is honey i you know i'm not usually naming a dog honey or sugar but i think i think we need to name her one of those which one honey or sugar honey honey i agree she is the absolute opposite of Venom. Honey, you are a good girl. And I am sorry that someone doesn't think you're worth the fee of breaking out of the yard because I think you're worth it. And you've probably been being mean to the small dog, which you should not be doing. But I don't know the full circumstances. And I still think you're a good girl. Sometimes we're not always on our best behavior, but that doesn't mean we're taken out with the trash. I love you. You are a good dog. You know that? And you're worth it. And you are valuable. And you have the cutest little white paws. Oh, did you see that? Oh, it's almost like it was too much, too. She, like, took it in for a minute and felt it. And then there's just too much. I just, I want her up in my lap. And I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to try something. I don't, I don't know if this will work. But I just want to try to get her out of that corner and out of that state. And I don't want to keep putting, I don't want to scoot back anymore and put any pressure on her. So... I'm going to try to just create a little movement here. Hi. Hi. Is that okay? Is that okay? She's got a collar, so she knows, she, and a leash, so she likely knows what walks are. And so sometimes we're just going to, we're just going to walk around a little bit in here. It's not the best, right? But we don't know if she's ready for a walk outside yet. There are cars, there are other dogs, and she may not be ready for that. So we're just going to kind of mimic it a little bit and create some movement in here. Okay, you like my blanket? That's okay. That's okay. You can like my blanket. Hi. Um, also, I don't think she's a bite risk or anything like that, but it's just helpful to have that in case she is. Um, just allows me to control the situation a little bit more. Hi. That's a girl. Can I pet you a little bit? It's a little uncomfortable, but that's okay. Hey, that. Good girl. And I'm going to try to associate this petting with rewards. Hi, good girl. Okay, she don't want it, so we'll back off a little bit. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. 
Like, she's the kind of dog that you bring into your home and you just give it, I don't know, weeks, huh? Of just letting her just, if she wants to hang out in a corner, she wants to hide under the bed. You just make the space as comfortable as you can. You bring the food to her. There's, you know, there's no training. You just let her decompress because she's been through it. She's had, had people that don't care about her. She's been in and out of the shelter. Like she's not feral, but she's shut down. Hi. Hey, April. Hey, April. Ah, oh, good girl. Good girl. Okay, yeah. That's a good girl. She's workable, and, and I, you can tell she is a sweet girl, and it breaks my heart that she's stuck in this position as a, as a dark dog in the back of a kennel because our family has just given up on her. I, so I pay your fee a hundred times over, girl. If you watch a lot of my videos, it's pretty amazing sometimes how fast dogs can transform. I think videos like this are also important where you don't see like a complete transformation because that's just not how it always works, right? Even for us in life, like if you've ever been struggling or you've ever experienced really tough times, you don't just, it didn't, a switch often doesn't just flip where you go, now I'm good, right? It takes time and it takes work and it takes effort and it takes friends and people who love and care about you spending time with you and helping you work through this. And that's what she needs. And what I need from you is if you think that you can be that person for her, it will change your life. It will save her life. I feel I'm preaching over here, but I just, I just know she has so much inside of her that she can give because you can see little moments of it come out of her. They're so minor. Like the fact that she took a treat from me earlier, or even that big step, right? Well, she's only three. She's only three years old. She's still a little baby. I mean, not a baby, but I mean, she's a baby. Let's see if we can create a little more movement again. Come on, sweetie. See, look, she wants to, like, she wants to move. She wants to go home. She wants out of this situation. That's a good girl. Good girl. Thank you for trusting me. Right. You're doing it. They, oh, you're so brave. Thanks for being brave. Honey, you are a good dog. You're a good dog, honey. Yeah. I, I want to see if we could bring her to one of the inside condos where maybe it's a little quieter. I bet if she had some time to kind of decompress, it would go a long way. Oh, there we go. That was a good yawn. That's a good girl. All the air that. That's a good girl. Yeah. You want a treat? Does you want a treat? Girl, yeah. <laughs> you're making good progress. She's her nose is working, she's checking out her environment. That's good. She's sitting up. Oh, look, look at your pretty little chest. Look at that. You have another white spot. I didn't even know that was there. Look at look at you. You got another white spot. Can you see a little white toe beans? Do you see those, Kel? Yeah. They're really cute. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you look like a stuffed oh. animal. She is a good one, and she just needs someone to show her some confidence and love and give her time to decompress. Okay, I'm going to let you relax, okay? Yeah. Okay, and there you go. Give you a little head rub. Yeah, does that feel good? Okay. Does, does that feel good? I'm gonna just sit down for one more second. I feel like there might be a breakthrough coming in here. Sometimes after this happens, then they want some more love. Maybe not, but I still feel like she's got a good story coming her way. Do you see that little nose check out? That's it, that's it. That's what I'm talking about, that there's little moments like that. She came, she came to me and said, Booped. <laughs> like, what a different dog. What a different dog. Yes, this is amazing. 
her, she's got such a pretty coat. Like, it's not very healthy. Like, you, you can tell she definitely, like, she needs really good nutrition to really bring her coat out. But it's still really neat. I can't believe she's let me touch her like this. She looks pretty relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, earlier, like, you got any small touch and she'd jerk away. And now... Venom. Who names a dog like this Venom? You trying to, like, train an attack dog or something? Like, Venom is a type of name you give to a dog that's like a little chihuahua. <laughs> or like the, a fluffy white dog where it's like, kind of like a joke, you know? I don't think you should name your dog Venom no matter what. Like, names are really important, right? Because if, if someone comes over and you go, that's my dog Venom, then all of a sudden they go, Whoa. Whereas if you go, that's my dog Honey, they go, oh, she's reacting to Honey. If you go, that's my dog Honey, they go, oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Did you see the white in her eyes with that? <laughs> sorry. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm so oh, do you like it? I can't tell it. Did that scare you or do you like it? <laughs> you go, girl, honey. <laughs> I think she likes it. <laughs> or she's like, who is this crazy guy? Probably more like that. Or you want some more pets? Do you want some more pets? Mm -hmm. Okay. You do really good today. I'm proud of you. Okay. Share this. It could lead to her adoption. You could save her life. Your share could. I can't tell you how many times people come in and they go, oh, such and such shared this with me. And uh, even if you live in Guatemala, share this. You never know when it'll find your way back here. And I'd love to have you become a member. We're building a really awesome community of dog rescue lovers. And so... Would love for you to be a part of that if you want to contribute and be the first to know on things. Just to get to see kind of the inside track of all this stuff. You're going to be okay from here, okay? Thank you for letting me show you a little love. I think she's tired. She probably hasn't been sleeping much, you know? I feel like she could just go to sleep right now. If the kennel was big enough, I'd lay down and take a nap with you. Honey. Yeah, she's nervous with everything. There's a motorcycle sound outside right now. That's what popped her ears up. Okay, I'll come back and see you. Try to get some rest, okay? You hang out on the, my blanket. It's your blanket now. Thanks for being a good dog. Oh, you don't want me to leave? Well, I gotta go. I gotta go sometime. That's pretty cute. Hi. Are you coming up at the front of the kennel now? Well, look at that. Hi, girl. <laughs> oh, good girl. Oh, that's, that is what we're looking for right there. Oh no, don't go back there. <laughs> All right, well we had a little bit of progress. That's good. Good girl.